Be not afraid of going slowly. Be afraid only of standing still. Namaskar. Welcome to Next IS. I hope you are doing well. In this video, we are going to discuss important species, जो कि अभी recently news में थी, and they are also relevant for UPSC. So without wasting any time, let's start today's discussion with Sarah Screen. It was in the news because recently Uttar Pradesh Forest Department has relocated Sarah Screen. From Amethi to Raibareli Samaspur Bird Sanctuary Samaspur Bird Sanctuary was created in 1987 with the aim of protection and conservation of wetlands with special emphasis on local and migratory birds Saras crane is usually found in wetlands and it is the state bird of Uttar Pradesh now let's learn more facts related to Saras crane its scientific name is Grus antigone and it is the world's tallest flying bird as you can see in the image it is predominantly grey with long pale red legs their naked head is red as is their neck now let's look at the habitat and distribution of saras crane it is known for its ability to live in association with humans inhabiting open cultivated well watered plains marshlands and jheels they are found in open wetlands in south asia eucalyptus dominated woodlands and grasslands in australia they are found in oceania and asia continent and countries are australia cambodia china India, Laos, Myanmar, Nepal, Pakistan, Vietnam and Bangladesh. In the Indian subcontinent, it is found in northern and central India, Nepal and Pakistan. It was once a common sight in paddy fields of Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, Rajasthan, West Bengal, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh and Assam. Now let's look at the threats. So friends, Sarah screens are threatened mainly by loss of habitat due to drainage of wetlands, agricultural expansion and human development. The use of pesticides as well as collisions with wires are important threats. Cranes are also commonly targeted by human hunting and egg collecting. Now let's look at the conservation status. So friends, they are classified as vulnerable species on the IUCN red list of threatened species and they are listed in schedule 4 of the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. Now friends let's know about the new species of moray eels it was in the news because recently researchers have discovered a new species of moray eel of the kadlar coast in tamil nadu it has been named after tamil nadu as gymnothorax tamil nadu ansis with common name as tamil nadu brown moray as you can see here it has small eyes and it rely mostly on its highly developed sense of smell lying in wait to ambush prey its body is generally patterned now let's learn more facts related to moray eels or murinaidae so friends they are family of eels found worldwide they occur in all tropical and subtropical seas and they live in shallow waters among reefs and rocks they can be found in both freshwater habitats and saltwater habitats they are known for two types of jaws one is regular jaws with big teeth and second jaw is called pharyngeal jaw which drags the prey inside the eel's stomach now friends let's know about great indian bustards ministry of environment forest and climate change has taken various measures for the conservation and protection of great indian bustards as you can see here this is the image of great indian bustard now let's learn more facts related to great indian bustards so friends it is one of the heaviest flying birds endemic to indian subcontinent it is a state bird of rajasthan which accounts for 95% of its total world population its scientific name is adiotis nigriceps it is found in untamed and arid grasslands and the maximum number of great indian bustards were found in jaisalmer and the indian army controlled field firing range near pokhran rajasthan and they are also found in gujarat maharashtra karnataka and andhra pradesh it is classified as critically endangered species in the iucn red list it is listed in schedule 1 of the wildlife protection act 1972 thereby according it highest degree of legal protection from hunting it is also included in appendix 1 of the convention on migratory species on the basis of the proposals submitted by india now major threats to the great indian bustards are hunting intensification of agriculture and power lines therefore government has taken various initiatives for their protection and these are project great indian bustard habitat improvement and conservation breeding and important habitats of great indian bustards are designated as national parks and sanctuaries now friends let's know about tiger recently india celebrated 50 successful years of project tiger now let's learn more facts related to project tiger it was launched on april 1st 1973 from jim corbett national park in uttarakhand 
to protect tigers in India. The project is an ongoing scheme of the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Now it has been converted into a statutory authority named as National Tiger Conservation Authority by providing enabling provisions in the Wildlife Protection Act 1972 through an amendment via Wildlife Protection Amendment Act 2006. This is the image of tiger. Now let's know more about tiger. Its scientific name is Panthera tigris and it is classified as endangered species in the IUCN Red List. It is listed under Schedule 1 of the Indian Wildlife Protection Act 1972 and tiger is found in tropical rainforest, evergreen forest, temperate forest, mangrove swamps, grasslands and savannas. Now let's look at the status of tiger population in India. So friends, India achieved a doubling of tiger population in 2018. Four years ahead of the targeted year 2022, the last tiger census of 2018 showed a rise in the tiger population from 1,411 tigers in 2006 to 2,967 tigers in 2018. Since 2017, IUCN has recognized two tiger subspecies, commonly referred to as continental tiger and Sunda Island tiger, which is found in Sumatra. The continental tigers currently include the Bengal, Malayan, Indo-Chinese and Amur tiger populations. Now, what is the importance of tiger? So friends, it is a vital animal species that ensures a viable population of other wild animals. The tiger is important for food chain and helps in maintaining the ecological viability. Now, let's look at the status of tiger reserves in India. So friends, India is also home to 53 tiger reserves. And in 2022, the 53rd Tiger Reserves in India was declared in Ranipur Wildlife Sanctuary, which is located in Uttar Pradesh. As of August 2022, 17 Tiger Reserves in the country have got Conservation Assured Tiger Standards International Accreditation, which is the globally accepted conservation tool that sets best practices and standards to manage tigers and encourages assessments to benchmark progress. And do you know friends, India is also considering Translocating a few tigers to Cambodia, where the animals have become extinct, both the countries signed Memorandum of Understanding in November 2022 for the reintroduction of tigers. Let's know about Naked Toad Gecko. Recently, new species of Naked Toad Gecko has been discovered in Gujarat. Now, let's know more about it. So, friends, it has been named Sertopodian Vindhya. After the Vindhya Hill Ranges in the westernmost part of Gujarat, it is the fifth endemic species of reptile. Described in the last 15 years from the state of Gujarat, the newly discovered reptile is a nocturnal species associated with granite boulders. As you can see here, this is the image of naked toad gecko. Now, let's learn more facts linked to it. So, friends, Palearctic naked toad geckos of the genus Sertopodian are a group of gecconoid lizards distributed across the regions of North Africa, Arabia and Central Asia to the northwestern India. The taxonomic history of the genus Sertopodian has been unstable and 23 species are currently recognized with the diversity concentrated in Pakistan and Iran. India has emerged as a hotspot of gecko diversity with more than half of the geckos reported described from the country in the past three decades. So with this, let's conclude our today's discussion. Thanks for listening. Be happy. Be nice.